Yeah. Um, if if Chippy, if you were going to check on Ollie, you would be doing it with Gillian as he went to his mm -hmm. sleeping barrel. Ollie, what are you doing in my barrel? Eyes kind of peek out from beneath the water. The hair is like very wet. Is it over? For now. Come on out of your 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 barrel, flesh boy. You get wrinkly. Let's get you out of there. Okay. Okay, so that's where you were hiding. You take the lid off the barrel and yeah. Oliver begins to stand up. You're looking down at Oliver? Yeah, absolutely. Until you're looking up at Oliver. But, as what? a six foot four, tall, lanky half elf with stretch marks on the side of the skin, appearing to have grown too fast, stands what? up out of the barrel. The hair, uh. much longer than before, freckles on a more defined face. With a little bit of stubble on the chin. Ollie? Did you get a new haircut? I don't know what's happening to me. Uh, Gil, is this magic or something? No, from what I know, this is completely normal. Nope. When there probably comes wearing... a day in every human or half-elf's life when this happens. That is not true. When they stretch out like a big slinky and, well, congratulations, Ollie. Oh. You're a man now. I'm only 12. I know, different different species age differently. I mean, uh, if you're 12, Chip's probably only uh, 13, right? What? Humans sure are weird creatures. That's not at all how that works, Gil. Oh, you are a strange bunch. I go head first into the water barrel and slip. How did this happen? We'll figure something out. You know, I haven't known too many half-elves. Maybe this happens. Chip. That's what I'm saying. He like leans down close to you, having like strange dreams and just trying to keep it together, man. Like, it gets try and get some sleep. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll try and figure something out. I, I I'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. Just uh yeah. Hey, so I guess you know uh, I guess humans don't stretch out like a like a big uh, rubber band overnight. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, I don't know, just see if there's anything magical about this condition. You do a quick divine sense, yep. and there is a, it's a, it's a very faint blip. No. Of a. No. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like a necrotic, but more not not exactly necrotic. It's like a dark energy within his pocket. It's not the evil, but it is divine. Oh, this is something's not right. Uh, is there something in your pocket? No. No, there's. I'm getting a sense. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and 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 reach for it. And he like tries to back away. Oh, he calm down. His I... hands in his pocket. No, there's nothing. Uh, listen, I haven't been on the surface for very long, and so maybe meat just gets meat here overnight. Um, but I, I'm picking up a something necrotic. I'm going to have to ask you to to empty your pocket. Gil, just give him some space, all right? I, I, he's scared. Something there could be messing with him. All right, Holly, just hand it to me. Hang on, Chip. We don't know what we're we're messing with. Just yeah, we do. Oh, the consequences of Chip's actions. <laughs> he looks very hesitant, shooken, um, and and nervous. He uh, looks at Chip, eyes uh, super wide, and looks down, and uh, he removes that black and gold compass from his pocket. By the gods. Take it from him. He's grasping it extremely tight, so you try and take it from him gently, and you have to yank it. And he lets go of it, and his arm kind of like uh, jerks back to his chest, and he like puts his hand on his on it on his face, and then just kind of like sinks down on by the on the wall here in the bottom oh deck here. My God. Just kind of sits down. Ollie, where did you find this? Ollie, did you did you use it? <laughs> it just. I wanted to know the way home. 